today i'm going to show you how to create this stacking card scroll animation in figma this is really easy to create and we are going to create this in less than 10 minutes please do not forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find any of my videos helpful so let's get right into the video so in order to achieve our stacking card scroll effect we have everything we need here we have our desktop frame a simple hero section and the cards we are going to be stacking on each other the first thing will be to bring in our hero section into here of course your hero section could be anything and then we can go ahead to start working with our cards for the card you can have anything to represent your card as simple as just having a frame here right and giving it a color it could be any color but you want to also do the same thing for other cards and then probably give them a different color just so that you can see the difference when the cards start stacking on each other so you can use a simple frame here to follow along or you can grab the completed version of this file um, from the link in the description but basically once you have your cards the next thing you want to do is to create a frame around your card so what that means is i'm going to select this c1 which is the card one i'm going to right click and click on frame selection once you do that you're going to see the frame around it but for this frame let's give it a proper name so that we know what this is i'm just going to call it card one so after renaming this you want to come to the card section here click hold down command click and drag so i want to increase this frame to the top to around 800 um and 58 you can use any value you like but let's use 860 858 i think that works so we're going to do the same thing for the rest of the card so i'm going to move this up a bit select the c2 right click frame selection rename this frame to card 2 um click on this frame that we just wrapped hold down command click drag increase this to 868 if we can get the exact value again uh, but you want to use the same value so i'm going to make this 868 right for the height so let's try to maintain the same height for the third card you're going to do the same thing um, frame selection we're going to rename this to card 3 right um, select this hold down command click and drag to make this 800 and 58 i think we can get the exact value here great so we have these three cards wrapped in a frame and it's all um, of a height 858 now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a container for these three cards where these three cards will be used that is the scroll section on our desktop here the scroll section on this desktop so what i'm going to do is to click on the frame button and I'm just going to draw a frame inside of our desktop, right? It could be as long as you want. I'm going to make it full width. All right, so I'm using 1680 for the width of my desktop. And you can use any size that um, suits your preview mode for your desktop. So once you have this frame, we want to move all this card into this frame. So I'm going to select card one, move it inside here. I'm going to select card 2, move it inside here. Uh, I'm going to select card 3 and then move it inside here also. So if we take this out, so you're going to see it just looks like this, right? You can fill it, um, fill the background if you want to see the borders or if you want to see the frame itself. Alright, so one thing we also want to note is we want this frame to start from the top of our page from the top of this desktop frame so let's take out the fill let's remove it and make sure this frame is transparent and then what we are going to do is just like we did for the card hold down command click and just increase this a little bit more so once we've increased this frame i'm going to take this frame back and move it back into our desktop frame so i'm going to make sure it fits into this desktop frame by center aligning it and aligning it to the top so it hits at the top now i want these cards to show very close to this uh, case study because you can see this case study title is far from the cards so what we are going to do is make sure that this is up a bit so let's change the y-axis here to about 1000 so for the next one here we can use 1700 i think that's not bad uh, for this we can use 2400 and i think this is okay so we can see that these cards are not properly aligned 
right they are not properly aligned so we want to select one two three all three cards and hit center align right here now after you've successfully aligned your card i feel like these cards are not properly aligned because they are not like sitting right in the middle and i don't know why but i'm going to try to position it to the middle and i think this is okay good so i'm also going to talk about why we have this extra frame here that is overlapping on the next card here we're going to explain why it's there in a bit but right now let's go into the main part of the video which is the prototype so we want to select the first card which is card one make sure you're not selecting the main card inside of it but the entire card one wrapper here and we want to switch to prototype section and in the position section we want to make this sticky stop at the top edge so we want this to stop while the user is scrolling at the top we're going to do the same thing for the second card we we'll click on the second card make sure you're not selecting the main card item inside but the frame wrapper switch from position to sticky stop at the top you're going to do the same thing for the third one position sticky stop at the top now once you've set all of this you can now click on your main desktop frame and hit the prototype menu so let's see what this looks like um, in our prototype then we can go ahead to make adjustments if necessary so now when i scroll you can see that the card is stopping and then we are seeing the second card and then we are seeing the third card this is interesting and this is the kind of effects we want but there is a little adjustment to make because we want this card like the second card to stop right here so we want to see the first card right behind it right so that it gives it this stack effect and we also want the second card to be slightly bigger than the first card right so that it gives it this proper stack filling or scroll effect so to make the adjustment that is really simple we're going to come back here and what i want to do is to add more padding so depending on the kind of frame you're using it could be a group it could be a frame it could be an auto layout frame you just want to make the card bigger than the next one basically so for me i'm using an auto layout frame so i can easily select this come to this padding section and increase this from 48 all the way to 88 right and i want to still make sure it stays at the bottom of its frame so i'm going to select this and make sure i align it to the bottom back now for the second one i'm going to increase the padding from 48 all the way to 68 and i'm also going to make sure it's positioned here at the bottom of its frame now another thing i want to do is to increase the width right so we have um, the base width of this at 1480 we also can increase the width of our card so i'm going to increase it by 20 so this is going to be 1500 and remember it's in a frame so if we select the frame we can see that the frame also needs to be extended so we can increase the frame also to 1500 do the same thing for the last card here and the reason why i don't touch the first card is because that's the base card this second one is just supposed to be bigger than the first one right and then the last one is supposed to be bigger than the second one so i'm going to select this third card here i'm going to make this 1520 because the previous one was 1500 and we want to make this larger select the frame that it's in also make sure we also increase this to 1520. now once we do this we can also select all three cards again and align center it's still not in the center i feel like there is less space here than here so i'm going to try to move it until i see the center now i think this is okay i would also want to move this down a bit because it's kind of entering our case study so let's move it down a bit now i think this is good and let's go back to our prototype hit r to restart the prototype and then scroll again now we have our first card stops here we scroll second card stops here and now the third card stops here then if you have more to your page you can keep scrolling to see other parts of your page and once you get here again you can scroll the third card leaves the second card leaves and you have your continued scrolling so this is it guys this is very simple very straightforward this is how to create a stacking scroll effect in figma in less than 10 minutes thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell um, if you find any of my videos helpful and also lest i forget thank you guys so much for the 20,000 subscribers 
and i'm going to see you in my next video